Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. We went out on a date night and uh, we are in downtown Orlando where we have tickets for the Trans-Siberian Orchestra uh, at the Amway Center are now called the Kia Center and uh, we There's had... Huh? There's people are watching. There were there. Oh. That's it. The only, people, the only people in this whole restaurant. Well, okay. <laughs> and um, we had to park, um, which it's kind of weird because we had to prepay for parking. We had to choose a, a place like we could, you could not just show up. Well, according to the website, you can't just show up and pay for parking. We, so, yeah, so we had to park. We had a park, and we parked uh, pretty much right down downtown Orlando. We do have to walk two blocks over to the um, Kia Center, but uh, we wanted to get a bite to eat, and we came into this place. It's called you can't really see. It's called Crepes Delicious. And there's. This But but it they have um, sweet and savory. So we got I got you, avocado. No, yeah, California, you got the California chicken. Chicken, and I got the teriyaki, and then we got the fruity tutti display as a dessert. So uh, we are here in downtown Orlando in uh, city nightlife is not for <laughs> she's already a little nervous. We've, we've never done, we've never been down now. Yeah, never. I mean, I've been downtown yeah, all the time yeah, with work. work. So, so, sorry, I had to get out, get her so food. Yeah, I, I'm just getting nervous because we don't yeah. know where we're going. Especially when it's dark. We, I mean, we've never been down here. We don't know. We even said, we didn't really know. Yeah. But we got our crepes now. Right, yep. So now we got the crepes. Here's your crepes. So I got the. Uh, the teriyaki, the teriyaki chicken, and she got California chicken. And then we also got the fruity tutti. And that looks really good. So here's a little better. Never had crepes for dinner before. Yep. First time having crepes for dinner. So we're going to enjoy these uh, and then maybe. Uh, film Gwen running around downtown Orlando. So, what do you think so far? It's very good. Um, yeah, it's actually, uh, I really like mine. It's I got the. It's a little hard to eat with it. it yeah, you kind of want to pick it up and eat it, but. With the plastic and everything, it's, it's hard to pick this up. So, I kind of make it mess. La surveille de mes noces au grand dieu que la nuit du rose. La surveille de mes noces au grand dieu que la nuit du rose. Je mis la tête à la fenêtre, puis la lune au point du bois. King okay, Wen's gonna give it a try. I forget what's in here, just Nutella, bananas, and strawberry, I think. Yeah. Really good? Looks good. It's good? You're right.
Our story starts with one small child who spends this night in a palace dark where dreams are stored like sleeping bars. Now, if you wonder why this child is here with all the sleep and Christmas near, it seems she long ago left home for reasons that are now unknown.
just um, came out of uh, the Trans Siberian Orchestra uh, concert, and uh, I really liked it. But I got my tickets later, so we were all the way up at the top, and uh, I was kind of squished in. But um, I liked it. It was a good show, it was good. right? I mean, a lot I, was, of... I was a little anxiety, panic attack right when we first sat down because it was no lead section, and you're yeah. like, you feel like if you you just make one long step, you're gonna you're tumble, tumble all, all the way down. down. Yep. Because even that partition, you know. Yeah, it's glass. It's just glass, and it's not. Yep. Wouldn't stop you. But It'll um, slow you down. <laughs> it wouldn't stop you. But, but uh, once what? the people, I mean, I, I say with me, I mean, I always when I, I, you know, I wouldn't say anxiety, but you know, there's, uh, you know, fear of falling off of their thing. So, you know, when I sat down, I just try to get comfortable, and um, but I was fine after a moment or two. Yeah, it took me a while. I think until the show actually started. So. Yeah. And, and they I started a little myself. late. But then, yeah. And then after it started, when, it was like right after it started, a family came in. They had just started, right? Yeah. And, and they, they walked. Needed. And we had to stand up. Oh, my God. And I kept thinking that because we were kind of were in the middle of the row. So somebody came in and sat next to us, next to me. You already had people. And next we sat me. down. Yeah. Sitting down. And then they were on the other side of the people and you. So they, sh the, the usher should have told them that they needed to go down and, down and out to the next. I mean, it wasn't that far of a walk. Yeah. And then they could have walked. I mean, I think they would have had to walk by two people. This one, they had to walk by like eight, eight people. to ten people. Yeah, yeah when and you got to get up, I mean, we were, and, like, we're, we were three rows again. from the from the edge. So when you stand up, you know, you have that fear initially of falling. But... With all that being said, I thought it was a great show. I I haven't been to a concert concert like that in years, and I forgot how much lights and pyro and all that stuff like that that they do, and they did a lot for <laughs> Trans Siberian Orchestra. They did a lot. Yeah, and it was funny because there was a a family came in towards that right before it started. Um. Like three girls and mom and dad. Yeah. And probably an hour and a half into the show, um, they kind of did a big like ending, and you know people clapping, 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 clapping. And the father got up and started walking out, and one of the daughters followed, and then the mother was still sitting there, and then um, the main guy—I don't know any of these people to this band, but came out and he, well, he started talking so then the girl was like wait dad wait and he kept walking so they all walked out and it was only half of the show yeah yeah so the first half the of the main show the, the first part like of the after. show they they Did have like a storyteller yeah. come out and he narrates there's a story that that's happening about a basically a runaway girl that and a guardian angel uh helps her you know basically get back home and between each little section they play music so once they were done that which was probably a good hour or more well, I was it was an hour and 15 yeah um hour and a, hour that's and when they you know all the lights came on on the stage the guy was talking introduced a lot of the band members and you know, normally that would indicate the end of the show. So I think a, a few people got up yeah. and left. Mm -hmm. um, like but then, the but then the main guy was like, "You guys ready for it to blow?" Did he say shit? Blow it up. Yeah, he goes, "Someone, like, are you guys ready to blow it up?" And that's when they were just cranking out the song the after song stopping. after song. And then they they said that they're celebrating the 25th anniversary of their second Christmas album. Uh, Christmas, something in the attic. Yeah, I don't remember. And so they did like a metal. The what is it called? Where they combine a bunch of little bits of songs into one. Um, uh, a compila compilation. No, it. Um, well, it's called a met med medity. Medity. Yeah, 
I keep thinking Melody, but that's not what I mean. Yeah. But yeah. they did, uh, they took a lot of snippets of their album and basically ran through the whole album in little snippets. And that was cool. That was really neat to see. And then the stage, the stage was incredible. I mean, yeah, between all the, the lifts the and, the and the one song that I enjoy the most, especially list, listening to on the radio, isn't it um, Christmas Bells or Bells of Christmas? Yeah. Is, isn't that, I don't you don't know, song. you have no, <laughs> she has no idea, but she wanted to see him so bad, but she, as no idea, but Chris, I, I think it's Christmas you spells. You always hear them at Christmas time, so but don't even say. They did that song almost three times, so they did it. Oh, in, their main in, one? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't know what the name is. I think it's called Christmas Bells or something. Um, but uh, they did it in the storytelling, then they did like a snippet in the uh, album uh, compilation. And then they really tore it up at the end. So they played that song almost three times, which every, that's the song everybody loves. So it's pretty cool that they did it, but they did it differently each time. So it was even, and the last time, I mean, they, they had everything going. And it just, it was great. It was a great show. Yeah, and it wasn't, a, it wasn't bad, like walking over there. We had our crepes, they were really yeah. good. Yeah, that crazy. Yeah, that guy. He was he he was legit. He yeah. Like he reminded me of a French guy that you would see yeah. either in a bakery in Paris or out in like the country. Yeah. Like he he was legit. legit. So yeah, they were really good. Yeah. I almost was hoping they were hoping they were leaving. Yeah. I mean, not that I was hungry, but I could have. Yeah, taking one home. Yeah. Because you could get them to go. Um, the savory was good, but man, the desserts, the traditional were incredible. I can only imagine he had other pastries in there and stuff like that. I'm definitely going to have to keep my eye on that place. Yeah, it was And good. do a Google review. And then, but as soon as we walked out, you went back in to take pictures or something. And then I was walked out and it was raining. I was like, yeah. oh, crap. And then, okay. Go on this website <laughs> so, because yeah. I have heard that they're really strict on what you can bring what in. You can bring in. So I go on and it says you can only have something this size, which is tiny. My cell phone does not even fit into it. And okay, they're right okay. behind us. We're sitting in a parking garage. And so we're walking, and I seen all these ladies with big purses, and I'm like, ah. Yeah, and then umbrellas I was like, too. And yeah, and I was umbrellas. Like, and she's like, wait, the website says you can't bring any of stuff even in. I think Philly, you were about to take umbrellas in. Yeah. But, um, so I was like, what? What? How is this possible? But yeah. So next time, and then next time I'll bring it and. They won't let me yeah. in. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, it was good. But we've been home. So we had a good time. Get Thanks so much for watching. Um, if you ever get a chance, highly recommend this show. Um, I mean, there was age groups from oh, gosh, top yeah. to bottom. Yeah. We're there. And uh, I love how he said, you know, at one point at the show, he was like, okay, who's our first timers out there? You know, a bunch of people cheered. But then he's like, okay. Who's the repeat offenders? And yeah, the place just went wild. So they're but then and they've been playing. They said back thirty years, I think, three decades. Said, well, right. they've been playing for thirty year, twenty eight or thirty years. They've played in that Amway Center now, it's the Kia Center, for eighteen years. And a lot of the, the band was from Florida. Yeah, yeah, a lot of locals in the band. I mean, they, I think there's little ones that they have in the back. They just well, they're, bring them they're, in. They're the locals. Yeah, they, they called them the Trans-Siberian Florida Chapter. So, so like, every, anytime they, they... Yeah, like... Wherever like they go, they would orchestras, have their own, they have yeah. They have local musicians fill in the orchestra spot. 
yeah, but it was, it was awesome. It was a good show. So thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.